with what is full stack development what are the key skills needed to be a full stack developer should you be one and a guided route and what are the company's expectations and a lot more and this is a one stop tech chat for all your questions with me is mr arun prakash who is the ceo and founder of kobi let's start the tech chat in 3 to 1 let's go full stack development being a computer science background helps like someone wants to become a front end developer what's the fundamental languages that he should learn it's become uh, in compared to other jobs like he is not that it's become a little easier correct then why is there a shortage of developers did you know that yeah so the shortage is because of the uh, it is not shortage is not because of the developers shortage is because of the good developers and uh, most of the colleges in the college level so they teach only the programming language not the frameworks or the building the apps so for example uh, we went for recruitment drive the last couple of uh, three weeks four weeks okay we went to around uh, 10 decent colleges 10 to 15 colleges in that only two or three colleges were ready with what we were expecting as an industry rest of the others are good in programming decent uh, whatever the colleges we went are good colleges there is no question about it even in that colleges they are not ready with the frameworks or they are not ready with the portfolio they stopped at the program i mean code i mean language level itself so that is one challenge which is out there uh, when it comes to the colleges but uh, that's where like uh, the short, shortage starts okay the expectation in the industry is little higher because we want to deploy instantly okay Uh, earlier it was much more to the big five companies service companies where uh, tcs infosys hcl wipro uh, those kind of people so one of the advantage they had is like a, they had a deployment time of 6 months to 1 year they hire you they train you for 6 months then they'll deploy you in the second half of the thing so they had that uh, time to uh, wait okay but uh, nowadays startups i don't even have 2 to 3 weeks to somebody to deploy so my challenge is like i want somebody to come and start the work with minimal training okay so there the expectation is little higher compared to what is there in the past 5 uh, 7 years okay because of that there is a shortage so that's how it is so the expectation is risen uh, to a level whereas the college or the system is not uh, grown to that phase exactly so now uh, in comparison to other streams and other industries and other careers it's a bit lesser especially if you are an uphold in cs right so it is a bit lesser complicated and lesser easier but why is there a shortage in the industry why is there a shortage of developers in the industry okay uh, the shortage is uh, because of two things one is uh, the college industry gap okay for example we went for a recruitment drive uh, the last 2 3 weeks went to uh, some 10 to 15 colleges all decent colleges so in that around only 3 uh, to 4 colleges were uh, having a proper uh, application level portfolio kind of thing rest of the other colleges students were not exposed to what is in the, in the industry they stop they are good in programming basic code but they have stopped there itself okay this is one reason where there is a gap between the industry versus academia okay because uh, i mean i wouldn't blame them as well because the industry goes it industry grows much faster for example yesterday it was angular today it was react tomorrow it could be something else as well so you can't go and change the syllabus just like that okay because there is a cycle to change everything so that it's natural okay that gap will be always there this is one reason second reason is previously all the recruitment if you see for the it industry happened with the big 5 tcs cts hcl wipro okay these kind of uh, top companies uh, were hiring so one of the leverage they had is like a typical uh, uh, time duration is they take a student they train for 6 months and then they deploy in the project for the next 6 months this is how it happens so uh, you have the time to train somebody okay but uh, the current scenario there are a lot of startups and product based companies who doesn't have that uh, advantage or the leverage okay for example in gubi itself if i hire someone i want to deploy him in 2 to 3 weeks okay i don't have the time or the luxury to do it 
okay so naturally my expectation is like somebody who comes in who should come with some level of uh, skills some xyz skills whatever skills is so that i can tune him and then deploy him so this is where the uh, real gap starts okay so earlier the product companies were pretty less now every startup is a product company okay so there are a lot of startups so a lot of naturally a lot of product companies and the expectation has grown uh, multifold so th these are the two reasons okay so now what do you think is the biggest mistakes learners and workers do like while learning and while working as a developer so one of the things is like a so one is uh, one common thing which i have seen is the mind block so they go on google and they get lost in the tutorial hell or they get advice from the seniors or the people who are out there so who is there two years three years experience okay uh, with the, their their advice would be like i am de developer for three years still i am not a good developer so uh, your natural mind block starts from there from his advice or her advice okay typically don't get caught into that okay this is the first thing so try to understand that you can't be a superstar in one day so in 3 months or 4 months you have to learn certain things so that you can get a job after getting into the job you learn certain other skills okay so this is the first thing uh, second one is uh, typically the perseverance so uh, uh, most of the times uh, when i recruit i always look for the perseverance okay if somebody has started something how much how many things he has completed because uh, in india starting is not easy but at least lot of people start okay but uh, they drop somewhere in the mid okay some reasons would be valid but most of the reasons are absurd okay either they are tired or the, some other reason they drop it okay or they hit a roadblock and they drop it these kind of people will not suit for most of the product companies because most of the product companies you don't have somebody to sit and guide you always most of the times you are left alone in the ocean so you have to fish on your own and then you have to fix it okay so for that i need a person with a high perseverance okay and uh, in terms of communication if you are able to uh, communicate in a basic decent level that's good enough for me for a developer okay uh, even i myself was not a great uh, uh, communicator when i started my career now i have learned as i progressed so but during that time when i started my code was my thing so whenever i show the code people are okay with that when i get the outcome that is absolutely fine for it to get it so don't get uh, too much worried about communication but that doesn't discount you from practicing what you have to say it okay so basic uh, sanity check like tell about yourself you should be able to do it if you are asked to about your project you should be able to explain if you are not able to explain your basic project sorry boss you are not a certain level of communication is needed exactly basic level okay you don't need to be a big orator okay but basic you should be able to explain what you have done it because you are here to do work not do english exactly ah exactly so these are the three things which i see can you just highlight three things that you look in a person before selecting okay as i said again one is perseverance learnability uh these two is actually good enough for me i wouldn't even go for third one the communication is okay even that is not great i'm fine with that but first two is mandatory learnability is mandatory stuff which i look for it and perseverance which is nothing but the closure i look for it if you if somebody has these two things i'm okay with that and sometimes i look for uh, how much they read okay as a developer so you don't need to explain but you should be able to read ready to read it so that that one that is another indirect skill which i look for it or a soft skill which i look for it what do you think is the most useless thing people learn or work on in that journey of learning okay so um useless thing is so most of them they st get stuck with one project and they spend the entire cycle in doing that one thing this i have seen it and uh, second thing is like uh, over communicating so that i have seen people uh, do a lot okay even they say like uh, which they haven't done it they'll say as if they have done it okay that is very easy and another uh, for a fresher uh, by seeing the project title itself i'll figure out whether he has done it or he has bought the project okay if the project title goes for one and a half lines i know that he has bought it and what i'll do is very simple i'll ask him to explain every word in the title 
So by that way, I'll be able to catch him. You can't read. Yeah, exactly. So you will say that uh, uh, applying network security in the email protection, you will write something else. You will add all the keywords in the title, which would have bought from some uh, place. So when I ask first level, he will give the keywords. Second level, he will not be able to. That way, uh, I will be able to catch him. So these are some of the things which I have seen in while hiring. Right. So how is it being a software developer in the present time? today's time. Uh, it is actually a very fantastic time to be a developer. I mean, always it is. Now it is much more exciting because uh, most of the times you, uh, now you get a chance uh, to work in startups and product-based companies. Earlier, at least in the previous generation, when I started, I always worked in a bigger companies. So the whatever I do to see the output, I need to wait at least a cycle of six months to one year. Okay. But in a startup, whatever mistakes or good things you do it, you will be able to see it in the next week max. Okay. So, you can showcase that to your parents or your girlfriend or uh, your boyfriend, whoever it is, you can show it. So, uh, the feeling of getting your work displayed is much higher in the current scenario. What are the cons? What do you do say? Like Again, it's the same con, like the pressure. Okay. It comes with the same pressure. Okay. okay. So, you don't have a choice to breathe. You don't have time to breathe. Okay. That is one of the biggest challenges for the current Lastly, because there is a lot of recession and it is affecting a lot of tech companies. What do you think will it affect India and its employees? And if so, how could how should they work on it? How should they cope with it? Okay, uh, it will certainly affect India, but uh, India will bounce back because of the startup culture. Okay, because a lot of startups and a lot of problems are there to solve it. So that will sa safeguard us to a certain extent. So that is the positive attitude which at least I have it. Or else in general, there are, I mean, the impact is there in the service sector. When I say service sector, service-based companies, IT companies. There is, a, there is a direct impact because we depend on either Europe or US, uh, this thing. Here again the war, there again the Russian goes on. So that, that is a challenge there. Okay. But uh, product-based companies or uh, others, it doesn't matter much. Okay. Uh, until unless you are targeting a fan company. Uh, because again, fan company is a US based company, any fan company is. So, uh, the impact there in whatever there in US economy will reflect there. But if you are an Indian startup, uh, that is pretty uh, less. You will have it, but it will be probably there will be a slowdown and might be a slowdown in hiring, but uh, the layoffs will not be there in most of the cases. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for helping us give so much of information about the developing. And I, I wish many people come into the industry more. Sure. Uh, thanks. Thank you all for uh, listening. And uh, I love being a developer and I love to see more developers because you guys have the ability to change a lot of things. Okay. Uh, so, please uh, go and solve more problems and help everyone. Thank you. With what is full stack developer?